fellas. I just got off the tent. That's why I look sleepy because I actually just woke up. And last night it was cold. And now we know why it was so cold. See? Ice. Everything's frozen. Ice. Like, looks like cardboard, man. <laughs> God. Ice. But look how beautiful, man. Look how beautiful the place is. The, the fog on the lake. Morning, Oscarito. How was your night? It was okay. Uh, I slept. I was cold. But it was worth it because look at this. This is what we call the morning glory. Oh yeah. And now we're trying to get some fire to warm us up, man. And then we ride. And then we ride into the wind. You're in a place like this. All, all that goes through my mind is just thoughts of gratefulness, being grateful. I'm grateful to, to my wife, to my kids, to this amazing, beautiful country. I'm grateful to Theodore Roos, but man, we wouldn't have these places if it wasn't for his vision uh, to preserve them for the future generations. Otherwise, this will be private lands more than likely, and it will only be enjoyable by those who own it, which is insane to think about it. So Theodore Roos, but man, I have a place in my heart, buddy. Warming up, guys. Time to go pick up camp and move to the next beautiful place. Let's go. All right, guys, leaving this beautiful, beautiful campsite. I highly recommend it, man. One of the top five campsites that I've ever been to in my life. And I've been to a bunch of them in many different places. Okay, so Grand Teton, here we go. Check that out, that's the Grand Tetons right there. We are seeing them, they're revealing themselves to us. So cool, ah, exciting, I feel like a little kid. All right guys, you see that back there? That to me, it's a dream come true. Years wanted to come to Wyoming to see the Grand Teton. I'm a little... It's overwhelmed. It's a little I'm overwhelmed. I, I was driving down the, the road, yeah. and we could see the mountains coming closer, and I was totally awe-inspiring. It's yeah. just, you know... It's just a work of art right here by Mother Nature, you know, for all of us to enjoy. We're basically, you know, next to uh, Yellowstone, and we want to go check out Yellowstone, and, uh, and we still have a few miles that we need to do, but you guys need to come, and. Yellowstone National Park, guys. We are here. Ha ha ha. Oh, what a gorgeous day, too, man. Riding on top of the largest volcano on Earth, man. I feel the power. Don't worry, this thing goes off while we're here. Yes, we're definitely gonna, we're not gonna survive for sure. Oh, look at that, man. Look at that. But neither is anybody else in the planet. <laughs> It'll probably annihilate the entire human species. So don't worry about it. It's not, uh, I think last time it went off was about 350,000 years ago. And don't quote me on it 100% because I haven't read about it in a long time, so. But if it's not that, I will make sure I'll put a little description on the video so you can say Carlos was wrong, but he came clean. Continental Divide! <laughs> I guess we're gonna come through here again. <laughs> That's good stuff. Oh, this is not all faithful, but there is a nice geyser. Look at that, man. All right, guys, we're walking towards all faithful. And according to time, it's about to go off. 
uh, in just a few minutes. Stop out, Carito. Oh, yeah, incredible, man. All right, guys, we just left Old Faithful. That was super, super fun. Beautiful place, man. Absolutely gorgeous. And anyway, it's kind of late. We're moving north. The first campsite that we come across uh, that has uh, spots available, we're going to stay at. Hopefully, it's going to be the first one. Right, guys it seems that we're about to cross into montana montana new state baby oh i guess we just did and it didn't have any sign really no signs come on should have said something we gotta celebrate it's not cool guys put a freaking sign welcome to montana but anyway montana man brand new state never been here before i'm excited we found a camp that is about 43 miles away. So it's already getting dark and by the time we get there, it's gonna be definitely nighttime. I'm tired, man. I think I'm just gonna go straight to bed for sure. Anyway, here we go. Good morning, guys. We are at the Canyon Campground in Gallatin National Forest. We got here last night, set up camp, nothing too sh fancy, to be honest with you, next to a road, but not a big deal. I mean, we it's a beautiful place, and actually at night, there was, I didn't even hear any cards. Here we go, guys, back on the road again, in Montana. Oh, the beautiful state of Montana, man. So, so wide open. Can't believe it, This, You know what's crazy? This whole state has got one million population just about the county where i live in is a florida which is broward county which is not even that big of a county i think they're close or just over two million the county so my county's got twice the population of the entire state of montana i don't know i thought i mentioned that that was it's a fun fact of browning guys we made it i'm tired <laughs> about 300 and i don't know 70 miles today long day baby long day on the saddle but it was beautiful all right so where are we guys we're in a casino in the blackfeet indian reservation browning montana very close in the canadian border yeah. and here we found two fellas who've actually watched the youtube videos yeah. how crazy <laughs> is that man huh 
I mean, thank you guys so much for recognizing. I don't know if that's, you know, but, <laughs> but for at least saying, hey, you know, I see your videos, you know, appreciate yeah. it. That's awesome, man. Thank you guys yeah. so much. And Don't I know you from somewhere? And then it just dawned on me. <laughs> YouTube, I watched the whole Pan-American series overnight. Well, the Trans-America. Trans-America. Trans -American. I watched that whole thing, you know, all night long. You know, it's very awesome. entertaining. Good show. It should be a television series. Thank you guys so much. Great appreciate it. All right. We're gonna have a beer. Eat the rubber side. <laughs> oh man, how fun was that? We stopped in this town and uh, we wanted to get uh, something to eat because we haven't really had anything uh, pretty much all day. And uh, the only place that had uh, both a restaurant and a bar was the casino. There is a casino, it's a very small town. Funny thing, we're walking into the casino and we meet this good fella, another writer. And uh, he recognizes us from the YouTube channel. So that's, that's just hilarious, man. So good stuff, man, good stuff. Thank you so much. You guys are amazing. But anyway, we're gonna stay in a campsite here in town. It's actually chilly tonight, but we are only 200 miles from Calgary, which is our destination. Well, actually, our, our, our destination is Banff, which is not far from Calgary, but... All right, guys, we found a pretty decent campsite. You know, it's a, it's a very small town. It's got a casino. And, uh, and right there, I don't know if you'll be able to see it on the video, but all that is Glaciers National Park, all those mountains. So we are only 196 miles away from Calgary. Mini, we're almost there. Our plan is to go straight from here to Calgary tomorrow. So the day after tomorrow, everything goes well. We will be starting the Continental Divide. See you guys in the morning. Hasta mañana. All right, guys, we just left town and we are on our way to the Canadian border. It's a beautiful day, but I tell you, man, it's so freaking windy again. We're being blown all over the place. But what you see right there in front of us, that's actually Glaciers National Park. And we're gonna ride right through it. And on the other side, the Canadian border. Oh, nice, man. I'm so excited. I feel like a little kid, man. You know, like, really? We made it all the way here? Oh my gosh. We're not there yet, though. We only celebrate when we accomplish the goal. The moment we came down that mountain, you know, the moment we started going down, it's like the whole thing just showed up out of nowhere. And I feel like I was being swallowed by this huge mountain. Man, it's just, it's it's just, just so inspiring. Yeah, we made it all the way here from freaking Florida. This is awesome. <laughs> all right, guys, we are in the Canadian border. We made it. Oh my gosh, I don't know. I get an emotional, guys. I know you, you probably think like, what? You silly? But yes, I'm silly. I get emotional. I'm a very emotional guy. <laughs> Can't believe we're here, man. Now coming into the Canadian customs. Definitely gonna have to turn the camera off because they're not gonna like me filming this. Passport in hand. Already. We made it, man! <laughs> Look at this! Ah! Huh? Wow! Man, unreal! Wow. Guys, we made it. Canada. After 3,626 miles. And hey, we're not done yet. Yeah, we're about 140 miles from Calgary. Yeah. And then we got, I don't know, I think I'm guesstimating anywhere about uh, 50 to 60 miles from Calgary to BAM. And that's where we actually jump on the Continental Divide. So exactly. Banff is as far 
uh, a way as we're gonna get on this trip. Yeah. You know, after that, we're actually gonna start heading back. Back you know, home. Yeah. Back home. So yeah, we're, but with... that we're gonna take the hard way home. Yeah, we're gonna take the hard way home. <laughs> Now it's when it starts getting good. Now, now, when, now yes. it's when the real adventure starts. All right, guys, we'll keep going north towards Calgary. From there, you know, we'll keep talking to you guys. Calgary guys, bienvenue to Calgary, yeah, we made it, woo, oh, I'm so tired, <laughs> ready for a beer guys, ready for a beer and ready to get out of the bike, alright guys, in Calgary, directly to a brewing, Prairie Dog Brewing, oh yes, oh yes, <laughs> I need to get out of this bike. I love you, Scarlet, but I'm not with you today. Prairie Dog Brewing Hello. Company, Calgary, Canada. I am exhausted. Tell me about it. You can probably see it on her face. I mean, I am tired. I needed this beer. guys leaving the city leaving the great city of calgary beautiful place beautiful city beautiful people man i enjoyed every second of it to be honest with you i wish i had more time but there will be another time there will definitely be another time for now until next time calgary so long bam here we go baby beautiful road the mountains right there that's where Banff is canadian rockies guys but look how beautiful the landscape is around here, man. What a gorgeous, glorious day. This is insane. Beautiful guys, look at that mountain. Ah! All right, we are basically in Banff. I think the next exit is our exit. My goodness, it's just freaking impressive. It's so impressive, man. Welcome to Banff, the mountain town. Beautiful up here, man. Check this where, out, man. Where, where are we, dude? Bear country. But no, we are actually in Banff. Like in a campsite, like two miles from the center of town. And cool it's a it? huge campsite. It took it's us 45 big. minutes just getting Yeah, there was a, a big line, but yeah. we decided, you know what, let's give it a shot. Because if we can stay close to town, we can actually enjoy Banff for one night. Yeah. And then tomorrow we we're jump on the crazy. continent of the valley. Just go a little crazy. Just, just a little just, bit. Just a little bit. Yeah. And it, like, like, no, no. Yeah. Right? No, that... that, that that, that big. Uh, <laughs> but it's a beautiful place, man. Oh, yeah. It's gorgeous. The temperature cannot be any better. It's actually, I'm wearing 80s, no shirt. 80s right it's now. It's in the 80s. Mm -hmm. But the day after tomorrow is supposed to be in the 50s as the highest temperature. Here? 
Uh, yeah. But we're not going to be here. We're not going to be here. We're going to be in Montana, which may be even colder. <laughs> yeah. No. <laughs> All right, guys. Let's get a beer. Salud, hermano. Salud. We Cheers, made brothers. We made it to Bath. This is the farthest point north. this whole trip. No, yeah. this whole trip. Yeah, this, this is as far as it gets. Now it's when the adventure starts. Oh, yes. That, now is when the good stuff begins. Yeah. And of course, we stumble upon a brewery in Banff, you know? So. No, and we, we need a day of beer and just chill out. Misbehaving a little yeah, bit. Yeah, a little bit. A little just a little bit. <laughs> Salud. Salud. <laughs> Hey amigos, thank you so much for watching, and if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Also, make sure to share this video, give it a thumbs up, and let us know what you think in the comments section below. Thanks again for watching, and right on amigos!